All right, welcome back, guys. So this is part two of the estate sale finds that I have. So uh, part of that estate sale finds the other pottery that I found. Uh, that's part of it, but I wanted to include it with this because it was kind of themed, and these are all themed as well. Uh, this is separate, but I will show you this including. Um, let's start with this. So we have here uh, the Medieval Prayer Book. Um, so known as a book of houses often included a perpetual calendar depicting the agricultural cycle month by month. Similar subjects were included in stained glass window designs all over Europe. These ideas inspired this complete medieval calendar series, the colors of which are hand applied. And you can see the company there, Pole Pottery, it does have the certificate here. Uh, medieval calendar series. This is for the month of February. Big old F right there. And this is numbered at 451 out of the 1,000 issued. Little cool fun fact is that numbers 1 through 500 available only in the United States. So they only made 1,000 of these in total. 500 of which were sold in the U.S. 500 of which were sold in Europe. Does have the signature right there. I believe that's actually a real signature too. Um, it's pretty cool. Uh, normally those are printed on and then we have this another beautifully beautifully done plate um not sure when this is dated but it is in some like silk lining it's a really nice box um it's got the month of february and then how it comes so pick that up and then here uh, another really cool one. I thought this was really interesting because it's a, a great book as it is. If you guys ever get the chance to read it. This is called The Art of War. Now, you say, how is this really The Art of War? By Sun Tzu. Well, it is. It's the smallest version of it, which is great, I think. Um, you can kind of read through it as you're going throughout your day. But it's just a cool little thing to have, man. Um, you know, I think it was really neat. And it tells you how to basically pick your your enemies and how to conduct yourself, really. Um, so check this out. Sun Tzu said, The art of war is vital importance to the state. It is matter of life and death, road either to safety or to ruin. Hence, it is a subject. So that's the first one. Of inquiry, which can, which can on no account be neglected. The art of war then is governed by the five, by five constant factors to be taken into account. It's pretty cool. You can continue reading it on. Um, but yeah, guys, this is, this is awesome. Pick that up. Really, really cool little find. Um, and at the end of this video, I'll tell you guys how much I paid for all of this also. Um, and then we have here a pretty cool tea find, or like tea kettle thing. It's pretty cool. Is signed at the bottom as well. Don't know by who that is. I don't uh, read the language. Um, but it is ready for, to make your tea. I did put some tea in it, by the way. Yeah, got some tea in there. But yeah, this thing's pretty cool. It's meant to hold your tea. How old it is, I have no idea. But I bought it because I thought it was cool. So there's that one. Let me put this in the back. And then this one I also bought because it was very interesting. Never seen something like this. Um, I'm into, you know, trading cards and stuff, but this is Art Treasures of the Vatican Library, collector's cards, which I didn't, had no clue <laughs> this was even a thing, um, but apparently it is. I opened it and I'm assuming this one's like the rarest one because it's in like a double hard copy case. But the cool thing about it, if you look, it's the Last Supper with something else going on in the front. I have no, I'm, yeah, I gotta look this over. What 
that is all about. It looks like Jesus, and then Jesus again sitting in the background. I don't understand that. Um, you know, definitely look into that. And then this looks like an uncut sheet <laughs> also, which is pretty cool. Of the cards. It's like a solid card stock. And then the actual cards themselves. And they're starting yellow, which is a sign of age for sure. Let's try to do it like this so the player's not in the way. Yeah, a little better. There you go. So what it is, basically, it is a bunch of cards of the Catholic um, Vatican, or faith, I guess. Uh, it tells you Book of Genesis, Genesis 2, Genesis 1, Exodus. So basically all the books, and then it um, summarizes them for you. So, Or it picks a passage, I'm pretty sure, but I, I believe it summarizes it for you. Um, but it's got all of them in here. So... Um, you know, if, if you are uh, religious, I guess, uh, this is cool. I'm not too much. I mean, I was raised Catholic, kind of, but we never, like, I never went to church or anything like that. Um, have been lately uh, with my girlfriend because um, her family goes. But, uh, yeah, this kind of cool thing that I ran into this, too. So I decided to pick it up. Yeah, it's complete. I just like the artwork. The artwork is what really caught my eye. I was like, oh, this is really intriguing. You know, it's not often that you, uh, you see this type of stuff. And again, it's got all the books, Ezra's, Luke. <clears throat> so if you're a uh, big, you know, fan of this type of stuff, this is... I can, you know, pretty neat. Yeah, that's the that binder. And then my favorite find of this whole thing is uh, this thing. So in here, we have really, 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 really cool art pieces. They're original engravings. Uh, just like that other video I made of these huge books, this is a uh, book of art, so it's not even engraving. So this is a copy of it. Whoever, I'll show you. Oh, actually, let me just open this now. Since it's a copy, I don't really care. But this is a copy of what's in here. Let me get a better view. This is a copy of the actual engraving that's in here, which is pretty badass. So it's King Gunther. I don't know who the hell that is, but he's a pretty badass looking dude. He looks like he means business. Um, but anyways, let's uh, put this away. And this thing has a really, really, really uh, nice poem to the actual art that I'm about to show you guys. So here it reads, uh, this was made by Wilhelm, uh, that's what the W stands for, Wilhelm Cray. He's a German artist that lived in eighteen in the 1800s and uh, created the art that is from this poem. Um, Heinrich Hein was the person who translated the poem, I guess. But I'll go ahead and read it for you guys. Um, it says, I know not what it uh, presages, this heart with sadness fraught, this tale of the gold of the olden ages that will not from not from my thought. The air grow, growls cool, or the air grows cool, uh, and what darkles, the Rhine flows calmly on, the mountain summit sparkles in the light of the setting sun. There sits in soft reclining a maiden wondrous fair, with golden remnants shining and combing her golden hair. With a comb of gold she combs it, and combing low sinks she a song of strange of a strange sweet sadness a wonderful melody the sailor shudders as o oh, berm the stain comes floating by he sees not the cliff before him he only looks on high ah round him the dark waves flinging their arms draw him slowly down and with this her wild sweet singing the lorelei has done 
So I will show you guys this badass piece of art. Look at that. That's an original engraving, my friends. And it is quite, quite nice. I really like this piece. Let me go ahead and carefully get that out. But you can tell it's an original engraving. You can see the print plate on the side right there. See the plating? Yeah. But look at that. This is a gorgeous piece of art, man. It's a mermaid on the cliffside in the ocean. And I guess that's what caught the uh, sailor's attention and made him crash into the cliff. But he's like, oh, well. <laughs> um, but then we have another engraving. This one is King Gunther. That one that we just showed you. It's pretty cool. Let me try to do this without ruining these. This one, I'm not entirely sure what the deal is, but it says Joan, Joan of Arc. It's really, really good in the sense of like super dark, super dark tones. I mean, they did a really good job on this one. Even the light, the like the lighting part is well done. Mm -hmm. And then this one, does have a passage to it as well, um, which I haven't gotten to, uh, but I will do some more research on it and figure that one out. Yeah, just kind of wanted to show you guys what was in that. Uh oh, let's see, forgot this part out. That's why I don't like separating them. But yeah, guys, um, other than that, <laughs> I'll put that back in later. Just kind of wanted to show you guys what I found. Um, yeah. Uh, I will make one last video. I didn't want to include it to this because I don't think that person deserves anything for the video or be included into this type of stuff. Uh, religious stuff at least. Uh, but yeah. Uh, also, I will release how much I made on the next video. Or not how much I made, but how much I bought all this stuff for um, on the next one. So yeah, stay tuned for that. Thanks, guys. Let me know what you guys think. And again, like, comment, subscribe at the bottom. And then I'll see you guys for the next one.